Okay, before we end this chapter, let's take this final uh, two set of problems where I'll again explain how immediately you can start applying geometry even in an algebra category of problems. Here it is not even explicitly said that geometry is there because there is no hint that whether geometry will be used. This looks like a pure algebra problem, but let's see how I'm going to solve this using geometry. So it says z by mod z minus 1. You want to prove that this is uh, less than or equal to argument of z. And I, how I'm going to use circle, let's see. I'll take a new complex number, let's take a, where a is a complex number given by z by z bar. So I can say the magnitude of a will be 1. That's for sure because it has now become a unit vector. Okay. And if I talk about argument of a, right. So can you tell me without any hampering, I can say it will be argument of z only, right. Argument of a will be nothing but argument of z. Why? Because they are z, a and z lie on the same line. The only difference is that a has magnitude 1 whereas z has magnitude z mod z times a. So they have the same direction but they have different magnitudes. Very important stuff. This is why I was start, this is why I started this chapter with the application that complex number is a vector. So this is what has to be used here. If you know this, then this question becomes very easy for you. So in a way, you want to prove something now this, that this is e less than or equal to argument A, where now we know that A lies on A, I can say A lies on unit circle. Can I say this? That A lies on unit circle. So let's come back here now. So let's say this is the circle with center origin, right? Okay, and I take any point A, let's say I'll take a point A here, right? This is, uh, let me write capital S, this is the A, right, which we are talking about. Now, what is A minus 1? So, A minus 1 is a line segment, right? Joining A with 1 comma 0, this point is obviously what? This is 1 comma 0, right? And what is the argument of Z? And because if you see this is 1 comma 0, so that means this is also the real axis, right? So, this is the X and this is theta. So, this argument Z is nothing but uh, this theta, right? Clear? What is the radius? If I talk about the radius, so we have already done that R is nothing but 1 because we have taken it to be a unit circle, right? This is coming from this particular concept. Now, let's see how I am going to solve this. So, A minus, now again, we convert this into geometry, right? So, A minus 1. If I take this as your uh, B point and this as your O, so this is nothing but AB, right? Can I say this is AB? And if you want to convert uh, this argument Z theta, so now let's do one thing more. What is theta? How do you calculate theta? L by R, where L is the length of the arc, remember? L is R theta, right? what I can say now that argument Z is nothing but arc what AB arc AB right divided by R and we know that arc AB and since radius is 1 only so I can say argument Z which was theta is nothing but arc AB right question is solved yes can you see this now so this is the beauty of using geometry AB line segment will always be less than equal to arc of AB. Very, very, we know this formula, right? This is the property of the circle. Hence proved. Nothing needs to be done. So This is also how you can actually apply geometry in algebraic problems.